Hmm. I am level 15. I wonder if I can do this now. Well, well, the mantle of adventure does not drape so awkwardly from your shoulders as it once did. But while questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some darkened dungeon, stalwart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all manner of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and these are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. And such advice holds true for many a formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus did we construct the Hall of the Novice, where we endeavor to prepare you for those differences. The Hall can be found just north of Aleport in western Lenotia. Within its walls, we offer burgeoning heroes a bevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. Hall of the Novice, membership granted. You don't have access to the Hall of the Novice. Ha! <sighs> There's nothing to display. All right, what have we got to worry about? Okay, I'm gonna buzz through this really quick. Because while this seems like something you really shouldn't have to do as an experienced player, it is something you still want to do on a relatively new character, basically because we're gonna get some nice loot. For this exercise, you'll be learning avoidance. An enemy often tips his hand before a big attack, and your best defense is getting the hell out of the way. Yep, that is very true. You pass the exercise once I decide you've learned this lesson. Avoid the enemy's attacks. Everything is clear, I trust. Say the word when you're ready to begin. Yeah, I'm all set. Let's go. I am ready to commence your random training exercise of dodging shit. The training exercise is now underway. Watch your opponent carefully. When you see an attack coming, move out of the strike zone. Uh. Can I attack him? Yes, I can. You're doing splendidly, keep it up. Don't mind me, I might as well DPS the shit out of you while I have a chance. <laughs> it's good practice. Pretty sure I don't actually have to kill him. Time I switch to a new technique. Yeah, big old fast moving lines. No problem. Come on, dude. I'm a caster. If you can't hit me, you can't hit the broadside of a barn. Now it's my turn. I'll teach you to ignore a ranged opponent. Staff waving training partner. Let me guess. You're going to make me dodge them both here shortly, right? Boy, these guys are beefy. Granted. Like I said, now show me you can avoid both at once. Oh, oh he home ganged me. Arr. Come on, come on, let me go, let me go. Thank you. Jerk. You freaking rooted me and I couldn't move. Stay alert, there's but a short time remaining. Duty complete. Yeah, that was way, way easy. And thus concludes the exercise. Use your prize, yes. You will get a nice little set of armor for completing each of these pieces. The last piece, however, is the most important because it's an EXP boosting ring, which makes it damn worth doing. All the novice, DPS training exercise number two. Let's proceed directly to the briefing. Whenever it comes to your place in a party, you are the sharp end of the sphere. Okay. Simply put, your role is to inflict as much damage as possible while keeping your own skin intact. <laughs> the joy of being a DPS. As such, you cannot just attack whatever enemy you please. If you strike a foe other than the one controlled by your ally, then you risk becoming the target of deadly aggression. Yep, this is a lesson a lot of early DPS need to learn. Your job is to make sure to attack the thing the tank is attacking, not attacking the thing they're not. Trust me, your tanks will thank you, or they will spank you if you don't do your job properly. 
Alright, I'm gonna switch to Topaz, just because I know the Topaz does not have the AoE attacks. Thank you. I am ready to begin, I don't need you yapping at me. Topaz will at least do the one I'm attacking, hopefully. This training exercise is now underway. Attack the same foe as your ally to win the battle. All right, let's go. Take out this guy. Our guild gladiator is basically uh, acting the role of our tank right now. Well, we have the guild conjurer over there acting the role of our healer. I thought there'd be multiple enemies, I really did. Very good, now here's a hint about enemy facing. Your opponent will have a harder time avoiding flows from the bl flanks or from behind, yes. And, uh... I will point out that this tank, this AI tank, is doing the worst possible thing he can do, which is have the enemy facing us. You always want, as the tank, to make sure they are facing away from the rest of the group as much as possible. Did he just get a heal from something? Huh. No idea. I just watched his health come back, so I'm trying to figure out where that heal came from. Duty complete. Again, these are really short, and they're really sweet, and they're pretty easy to do. Yep. There's our brand new thigh boots. I don't remember how many exercises there are for each uh, roll. I think it's five. Uh, coordinate with your allies and defeat and defeat the enemy again. All right, what up now, dude? For this exercise, you'll be fighting multiple opponents. The key to victory is coordination with your comrades. Each foe will fall all the swifter under a focused assault. Yes, focus one at a time. Especially at the lower levels, because we haven't got all the tools we need to bi do big AoE pulls. Believe me, it's nice when we can. We're not ready for it yet. Come on, thank you. Now I can talk to you. Trust me, for these lower levels, most DPS classes do not have their big AoE rotation. The training exercise is now underway. Start the fight with the Staff Waver. Such foes are often the most dangerous and the least robust. Yep. Strike the wrong foe five times and you fail this exercise. Oh joy. Well, let's not do that then. This is the reason I'm not doing the AoE thing. Again, yeah, the Staff guy, really easy to bring down. Casters in general are always the first target whenever possible, especially the healers. All right, let's get the fist fighter dealt with. Quick fisted training partner. <laughs> uh, the names of some of these characters. Easy does it, easy does it, easy to go down. There's yet another standing, don't lose focus. And last the guy on the ax. <laughs> He's almost done for. Grind him into the dust. Eh, it's no problem. And there we are. That finishes that out. And thus concludes the exercise. Easy enough. Coordination is the key to conquering foes swiftly and safely. Yep. Oh, there was no uh, gear for that one. I guess this is going to be combining the dodging and the murdering at the same time. Let us proceed directly to the briefing, as always. Always again. Do you remember the lesson where I had you evading enemy attacks? Yeah, that was really easy, wasn't it? Well, now you're going to actually have to do shit at the same time. Yep, you must need to plan your strikes around some fancy footwork. Well, in that case, I'm gonna swap back to Emerald here. 
Actually, I'm gonna stick with Topaz. Uh, just because I don't want that AoE thing going off being a problem. Yeah, there's two of them. Engage the axe wielder, but keep an eye out for counterattacks. If you allow yourself to be hit five times, we are starting over. All right, fine. All right, let's swap to the other one. That way, if I can, uh, if I've got to use Eggy Assault, I can. Because the Eggy Assault one of the Topaz is just a shield. <laughs> ah, too easy. Oh, hold on. I gotta give this guy back his miasma. Thankfully, these dots seem to do a half decent job of keep burning him down. Oh, he got healed. Jerk. And there goes my two eggy assaults. And now I got one back. Didn't really need to use the last one. That one was more necessary. And done. Bravo, and thus concludes the exercise. I could literally just walk over here. You don't need to teleport me with a loading screen, guys. Nicely done. Breaking off attacks to save your skin is always the wisest course. Yep, there's the leg piece. Also, this isn't a horrible uh, way to get a, a little bit of cheap XP, at least for this level. This exercise will teach you how to deal with enemy reinforcements. Simply put, let the tank do it. As the battle progresses, new foes will appear on the field. These sudden arrivals will target your weakest comrades, so you must be quick to eliminate them. Work with your allies to defeat the enemy. Yeah, basically, whenever something new spawns on the field, Odds are good it's gonna gun for the healer because the healer will generate aggro just by healing. And usually they have a heal over time going if they're playing a white mage or uh, or an astro. The training exercise is now underway. So simply put, let the tank do his job. Keep your eyes peeled for reinforcements, novice. Yeah, sure. Can do. All right, get in there, Carbuncle, and go to town. Got more attacks for me to dodge in the meantime. Oh. Or is this going to be where I've got to pull him? Yep. <laughs> now, normally in a real party, you'd never be the one doing this. This would be the tank's job. The tank would be the one doing this, but in uh, Duty Calls fights, this actually does happen re pretty regularly, where you have to defend an ally. So it is something you should know how to do, even as a DPS or a healer. Oh. Yeah, I'm working on it. I gotta dot him up, too. Yeah, you don't get to hit the healer more than once. And again, you're not gonna do much of hitting me, either. There we go. And just in time, my dots fell off on the axe wielder. He did get a heal. I just watched him heal. He didn't get much, mind you, but he still got some. Not enough to save him, though. Not from this. Good night, sweet bitch. <sighs> All right, dude, I'm back over here. Damn it. Again, you don't need to teleport me. I'm right here. <laughs> when free and forfeit and threaten the healer? Again, no equipment for that one. Manipulate the battlefield and defeat the enemy. You will learn to manipulate the battlefield. During the battle, enemies will pour forth from the rear gate. New foes will continue to flood in whilst this portal remains open. AKA, hey, if something is spawning enemies, get rid of it. If it's something that can be killed, you kill it first. If it's something to interact with, you get rid of it. 
It's pretty simple. I don't know why we have to have a dedicated mission for this, but okay. Come on, dude. We are off. This training exercise is now underway. I'm not sure where the rear gate is actually going to be. All right, let's might as well get our dots on this guy first. Probably not over there by him. And this guy's already, oh. There's our gate lover. This first. Deal with our little training automaton. Yeah, he, uh, he barely took. Oh, he he barely has any health at all. He hits recently. He hits reasonably hard, but still. Get our dots back on this son of a bitch. Keep my eyes open in case this thing pops open again. I don't trust it. No, sir. I don't trust it one little bit. And thankfully, I can swing the camera around. I've got him targeted, so everything I cast is going straight to him. I guess it only opens once. And done and dusted. Thank you. There's the body. I think we've only got one more to go. Oh, I uh, I leveled up. I'm level 16 now. And I've now been informed that level sync exists. Yes, I know level sync exists. Final exercise. So seven was the rant is the correct number. And that's fine. Oh, we're out in the field for this one. Final exercise. You've arrived at the mountain's peak. The final exercise. As the culmination of your testing, all the skills you've acquired will be put to the test. Put your lessons into practice and you'll do just fine. Mm. Excuse me, say the word when you're ready to begin. Well, we definitely got some more epic music than what we were working with. Let's go. Like seriously, this is some late game music here. The training exercise is now underway. I got a tank, I got a healer, and I'm a DPS. Maybe the uh, tank AI here will uh, be a little better. No, he's still stupid. He's still gonna sit here and be in the back. Uh, seriously, dude, this is tanking 101. Face the enemy the other way. Jackal. Uh-oh. I see it. That's gotta go. Because of course our tank is not gonna do his freaking job and pull him like he should. You know. AI tanks, what do you expect, man? <laughs> My carbuncle is so interested in that dodo, he doesn't care about the jackal. And that's fine. Get our dots back on the dodo here. <sighs> Just in time to have to put dots on a jackal. That's fine too. Ow, dick. You ruined my cast. Just for that, I'm addling you. Will you take extra damage from all the abuse I'm inflicting upon your face? <laughs> he's close enough, he's still taking the gus. Alright. Redot this SOB up. Honestly, probably didn't need to waste those two GCDs. And he's toast. Now your allies face multiple foes. Alright, yeah, I know. Attack the one the tank's on. Change out to uh, Topaz here, so I'm not dealing with AoEs. And again... The moment that AoE marker goes away, it checks where my position is, so I can walk right back in. See? I can walk in there, no, no problem, no damage. 
No real threat there. <sighs> okay, too many dots going on here. There you go. Keep hitting that one. Damn annoying ass. Things keep coming at me. Alright, I'm not even gonna waste time dotting these guys. They don't take enough damage. And they're not uh, beefy enough to worth dotting. They're really not. The fact that he keeps throwing fireballs at me is just the most annoying thing. And there we go. And now for the last challenge. This one hits hard, so be quick on your feet. A tamed Gobu. Alright, go get him, Carbuncle. Damn, he does hit hard. That poor tank got rocked. But then again, that's what the tank gets for standing in things he shouldn't stand in. I mean, seriously. How hard is it to avoid a big cone? Well, you'd be surprised. A lot of tanks just don't care. They'll just stand in it anyway. Honestly, kind of stupid if you ask me. Just because you can take the hit doesn't mean you should. It means the healer's got to waste more time healing you and less time DPSing. <laughs> Your giant snot balls mean nothing to me. Unfortunately, my shots don't seem to be much to you either. You have a lot of health. Like, seriously, a lot of health. Alright, refresh some dots. Otherwise, we'll have problems here. <laughs> I'm only doing like two, two and a half percent per hit. And that's enough, he is down. And finally, this duty is complete. <sighs> there we go, Hall of the Novice completed. That's what I wanted, the brand new ring. Increase the XP earned while level 30 and below. That is hands down the most important thing I could pick up. Because anything I can do to increase my XP gain. I haven't been in the Marauder's Guild on this character. This is the, uh, this is where people learn to be one of the tank classes. Rainer. Yes, I am Rainer. Ah, uh, you must be the adventurer whose name seems to be on everyone's lips. You are to be commended for your part thwarting the plot to destroy the victory. Now, what can I do for you this day? You bear an urgent message from Batteron. Why do I get the feeling this mo that my hopes for a quiet afternoon are about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me what is afoot. Well, apparently the fishbacks are causing, sh you know, five kinds of hell here. Or in this case, since this world, seven kinds. An assault on Swift Perch? But we've seen nothing to suggest the Serpent Reavers are massing for an attack. Well, kinda saw something. Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility. Batteron is rarely wrong about such matters. I will marshal the Yellow Jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Batteron's assessment that the attack on the Drydox was intended as a diversion, Swift Perch is but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Commodore, sir! Report. It's the Sagahin, sir. They've mounted a large-scale assault on South Tidegate and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. By the navigator. It seems my decision has been made for me. Muster the troops and give the order to march. Uh, Swift Perch, dude? I, the Serpent Reavers, are in league with the Sagahin. Which means there is every chance this assault on Tidegate may yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it. And that leaves Swiss Perch vulnerable to those pirate traitors. It is at times such as these that I wish the warriors of light yet walked among us. But wishes will avail us not. Let's play. You must serve in their absence. Make for Swift Perch with all haste 
and lend your strength to the squads I can spare for the settlement's defense. Thank you for mentioning the Warriors of Light. So, in the lore of the game, the Warriors of Light are basically the 1.0, is your 1.0 character. Like, you were one of the Warriors of Light as the 1.0 character. And I promise this will be discussed later, but not right now. Right now, we've got to head to Swift Perch. I actually gotta say, that's not a half bad looking outfit. Oh, we have us a duty calls here, and I'm betting when we go over to Aleport over here, when we do this one, there'll also be a duty calls. Well, let's do this first. Commodore Rayner sent word we'd be getting reinforcements, but I didn't expect him to send you. You certainly look like you've seen your share of action, though. You bear little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I met fresh off the ferry. Dude, I've been here, like, a day. Okay, maybe a couple days, but still. In any case, do you know what you're fighting for here? This place, Swift Perch. It was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the Calamity threw their way. And we're not about to let some fish-fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones who finally broke their spirits. Don't give those pirate bastards one bloody ilm, you hear me? Roger that. Here they come! Oh, oh, nope, everybody's, oh. Yep, here they come, there's the blue marks on their faces. Yeah, now I thought of them yellow jacket worms was meant to be busy. That useless scrag ain't followed the plan, is he? Now what, pull back and wait for our saga in, brothers? Piss on that, we ain't turning back empty handed. Remember, no killing the small folk, or it'll be your blood what stains Lord Leviathan's altars. They're making sacrifices to Leviathan? The yellow bellies you can butcher at will. Them dirt eaten slugs be crushed under the full might of the serpent reavers. Oh my god. Seems Swift Perch was the main target after all, eh? They're look that's what all the kidnappings there were. They're freaking sacrificing people to Leviathan! Squads one and two, protect the town soul. Squad three, you're our rear guard. The rest of you, we meet their charge where we stand. Let us bear the common or word of our victory, or no word at all. For Lim Salamensa! Ah, I got you all, yellow bellies, and dance on your gizzards. Oh, that's a lot of them. That is a lot of them. Okay, let's start cleaning the house. Okay. Leave no pirates come standing. Show them how the yellow jacket fights. All right, let's do some down bursting here. I want to. I want to get as many of these guys hit as possible. Oh yeah, we got a couple weak ones there. Oh, these guys are really weak. Then again, I might be a little overpowered at the moment, but I have no problem with that. Okay, he's the big one. We're definitely ignoring the big one. We need to focus on as many of these small fry as possible. God damn it. We got a healer in here somewhere. I just don't see him. More of the bastards. Come on, men. There are no shortage of these guys. Hang on. I gotta get this one off glass reel here. Don't waste time dotting them, just go. Just keep hitting them hard. Come on, get a couple downbursts going this way. Oh, we lost the yellow jacket. Oh, that's a black mage. The hell with you, you're going down. I don't need you blasting people. Uh, where's their healer? There's their healer. That one's gotta go next. Nope, ain't letting you go. 
Alright, these guys gotta be the next ones. Hopefully that downburst is enough to weaken them both. Alright. Alright, you scurvy bastards. Here's a trick to make you soil your breaches. The hell? Is he casting something? Dweller of the Abyss, your master calls. Holy shit, he summoned a Void Scent. That's, that's bad. All right, let's take care of him first. That's bad. So, uh, quick lore thing here. The Void Scent is basically what these guys call demons. And I took that hit. I legitimately took that hit. All right, I got to get this guy toast. Keep on pummeling him, he can't take much more. Yeah, well, I can't uh, keep dodging all this shit that keeps coming my way. Probably a waste to dot him here, but he does have a lot of health. All right, he's done. All right, now for the Void Scent. Oh, oh God, he's gonna hit all of us with that. Whew. Thankfully, the NPCs can take a beating. They have an obscene amount of health compared to you. <sighs> that was fun. Well fought. The Reavers are beaten and scattered. It'll take some men and hunt down... I'll take some men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them looking about. So don't let your guard down just yet. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. There's more of them, huh? Oh, that's the Aether right. I'm sitting there like, what the hell is that shadow? Oh. Oh, it's the Masked Mage. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the Golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Oh. Oh. What the fuck are you... Oh. Oh, that's... Uh... O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. Flaja! Oh fuck! Oh, that's that's big. Guys, guys, I might need an assist on this one. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Oh, jeez, I gotta fight him, too? Defeat the Masked Mage. Soon you shall take your vile gifts to the grave, Lesser Gargoyle. He don't look all that lesser to me. I'm gonna be honest, he really doesn't. But, uh, what he is... I gotta, I'm gonna jump over here to Topaz, because Topaz hits harder. <laughs> Writhe as the venom eats its way through your veins. Yeah, dude, your, your little poison ticks don't bother me. Trust me, I could literally just heal myself. But I just haven't needed to. Well, he's half dead. Whence springs this prenatural might? Well, it springs from me kicking a lot of ass around here and being a little higher level than you'd expect. <laughs> really, that's the main reason. Oh, here. And I'll throw up a shield just because. <laughs> yep, I have a shield now. Oh, Ishtola! A fearsome opponent against whom you shall not stand alone. An unwelcome guest. No matter, all shall fall before me. Uh, dude, you, you're taking it like a bitch. Oh, you barely have anything. Blizzard 2? Ooh. Uh, yeah, you didn't hit anybody. No mortal should possess such strength. His power wanes. Afford him no chance to recover. Don't plan on it. And done and dusted. Duty complete. Uh, that the wisdom of the Paragon should be brought low. By mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? 
Then it is as I feared. They are known as the Bringers of Chaos, or Assians, to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. It is they who have been manipulating the Beast Tribes. Uh? Hello, Assians? Pardon? You would know if we Charlians have encountered Assians before. I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know once I hail? Wait, I do begin to see. You have been blessed with a special gift. You have the power of flashbacks. <laughs> alright, house has been cleaned, guys. Are you alright, lad? If I had known a mead bugger like that was hiding in the bushes, I'd have left a squad or six to keep you company. Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping investigation to a close. Those reavers were the ones spiriting folk away in the dead of night, and this bastard here was pulling all the strings. A trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. Yet we prevailed, and thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned much. Aye, heroic is the word. I don't want to think about what would have happened if you hadn't been their friend. And your assistance is much appreciated too, Lady Ishtola. Please give our regards to the Scions. Ah, this is the first mention we've had of the Scions. I am glad to have played a role in bringing what hope is an end to this disturbing span of abductions. I butchered that sentence horribly, I apologize. The thread of your fate forms a part of a most intriguing tapestry. Mayhap will be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray send my greetings to Commodore Rayner. Uh our masked man poofed out. Oh, he left us a he left us a prize though. Some sort of dark crystal. Oh. Nope. It's gone. Whatever the frick it was, it's gone. Let's report to Rainer at the Coral Tower. Uh, not sure where the Coral Tower is. Actually. Oh, I see. It's back up in uh, Limsa. Huh. <sighs> I think this is a, this is, I think, a good place as any to stop for the day. Oh, progress has definitely been made. I think we're on one of the last quests in this tutorial section, and by tutorial I basically mean each of the three cities has their own set of starting quests up to level 15, and after that they will converge and the main story will begin in proper. So. While this has all been very interesting, it's still all just set up and they can't really get into the main story until all the other classes can, you know, join in on the story. And speaking of, I will do my 15 uh, class quest next time. So if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me and find out who are the Assians. Because I promise you that question will be answered in the future. Maybe not the immediate future, but in the future. Until then, see you guys in the next video.